Ted Bundy grew up thinking that his grandparents were his real parents. But his sister, well, who he thought was his sister was his mom. And he never knew his father, but there was some speculation that his grandfather was his real father, but we don't know. When Ted got older, he started being a peeping Tom, and then he decided that wasn't enough for him. His first, the first one that he tried to murder, she ended up surviving, and she had brain injuries and stuff, and it was a miracle she survived, but she survived. He would basically even take women in daytime. He just got to the point he didn't care. He didn't care when he took them. It didn't matter if it was day or not. He took two girls at the same time. Just them two being, one was with her boyfriend and one was just, they were both at the beach and he got them. Well, he was just, the way he normally would get these girls is he would normally come up to them and he would pretend to be in a cast and he would ask for their help. And when he took, when they would go to help him, he would normally hit him over the head with the crowbar. But one time he tried to pretend to be a police officer and that's where Carl Durant, she was 18 at the time, he told her that someone broke into her car and that he was a police officer. So, they, he ends up telling her that she has to go to the station. So when they get in the car and they go the wrong way, she knows she's in trouble. And he handcuffs her, but he, in the struggle, he only cuffs one hand and she gets away. So she was able to give a description of him. When he went to prison the first time, he ended up breaking out and they found him, but he would go on to break out a second time. That is where he would break in a college dorm and he went after four students. Two survived and two didn't. When he went to prison the second time, they found out who he would not he didn't want to say who he was but they found out and he was sentenced to life not life he was sentenced to death row where on january the 23rd 24th of 1989 he was put to death John Wayne, now I want to talk about John Wayne Gacy. He would do parties as a clown. He would dress up and he would go to kids' birthday parties. And what nobody knew 
is that he was a serial killer. He would... A lot of the ones that he took were runaway kids. Runaway young boys. He would... Normally, you know, give him a ride. And then he would go on to kill them. One, the first one that he gave a ride to ended up escaping. So he got the idea that he didn't want them to be able to get out. So he took the door handles off so they were not able to escape. He would have young boys do basically jobs for him. He would pay them and he would end up killing him. Well, he would say that he had a job for him and then he would end up killing him. And there was one boy who he assaulted and the boy asked you know he just he didn't want he basically wanted to die and John Wayne Gacy drove him home and through you know all this he was married he got married and a lot of people, they would say that him and his wife, you know, wasn't really that close. So, he was going on, you know, just doing awful things to these young boys. And finally, he was caught. And... He was sentenced to death, where it took him 18 minutes to die. It took him longer than what it normally takes. Well, guys, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.